it's hard to say whether South Korea would have developed without authoritarian rule, but the fact is South Korea's unprecedented economic development, double-digit economic growth occurred in 60s and 70s, and when Park Jong-hee uh, was ruling South Korea for 18 years, there's no question that he was an authoritarian, iron-fisted ruler, and at the same time, during his 18-year rule, South Korea underwent tremendous economic transformation. So it happened at the same time. So it's hard to say without his rule if South Korea would not have developed economically. But Park Jong-hee and authoritarian rule was part of it, uh, part of South Korea's history. And during Park Jong-hee's 18-year rule, South Korea underwent this enormous economic transformation. Park Jong-hee himself was born uh, in poverty. He was one of nine children uh, born in poverty. And he used to say that he can't think of anything that's worse than poverty uh, in South Korea. So um, there are a number of things he did um, with five-year economic developments, export-led growth. Um, he also utilized the chebols, uh, the large conglomerates. But then it's not only his rule, um, and then there was a rural, uh, he was very focused on also developing rural communities with Semao Undongs. But it's not only that, I think also there is such thing as South Korean culture and work ethic and Confucian mindset, where the, the entire public and the country were willing to follow uh, his direction. And it also helps, obviously, by the fact that he was in this iron-fisted authoritarian ruler who can sort of say, let's get things done and, and then push it through. United States, I think, played a very important role because United States also helped uh, economically, uh, giving massive amount of aid, um, and also provided the security for South Korea. We had, United States had troops in South Korea so you, South Korea could develop economically without worrying so much on the security front with North Korea. So there's no question that United States played a very important role. I think South Korean government and South Korean public, they're all very proud of how much they have been able to achieve in several decades. South Korea going from one of the poorest countries in the world to 12th largest economy in the world in mere decades, which is unprecedented. And they would love for South Korea to be a model for other developing countries. Now, I do think there's lessons to be learned from South Korea. South Korea itself learned a lot. They modeled themselves after Japan. Um, but then, of course, there are unique things that's, that's also with South Korea, right? So uh, South Korea happened to have it under, uh, really had this unprecedented economic growth under an authoritarian ruler for 18 years. Um, South Korea has a very distinct Confucian culture, this work ethic. The, um, and South Korea also has certain help, right, from foreign countries like United States. And this is very unpopular in South Korea, but South Korea uh, also also able to gain from normalizing relations with Japan, which was able to happen because Park Jong-hee was an authoritarian ruler. And it was a very unpopular decision, but he decided to normalize relations with Japan. So South Korea also gained a lot from Japan. So there are some things, some things that are very specific to South Korea that might not be replicated. South Korea also, um, it was, you know, South Korea gained by U.S.'s involvement in the Vietnam War. Um, because South Korea was able to manufacture things, they were able to benefit economically. So there are things that's very specific to the Korean case, but they would love for South Korea still be, to be a model for other developing countries.